Welcome back to the Java programming series and today we will understand how to write down the program to check given number is positive, negative or zero. So again we don't have to make a mistake to solve the program as a whole. We have to break down our program into the small pieces. So let's assume that I don't know how to solve this program. So based on the program definition whatever information I am getting I am just trying to write down into the program. So we have to check given number is positive, negative or zero. So definitely we required one input which is the given number, right? So let's take one number as an input. So integer number is equal to 12. Perfect. So let's try to find out the output. So what are the output of this program? So definitely we have to print either number is positive, either number is negative or number is zero, right? So let's try to write down the output that we required in this program. So we have to print either number is positive or negative or zero. So let me just write down first one is positive, second one is negative and the third one is the zero. Perfect. So we have identified what are the inputs and output required in this program, right? Now let's focus on the logic. So here based on the output we can understand that we have to print three different statements based on the condition, right? So we know that if we want to check the condition in Java we have a if statement, right? So let's just try to write down the if statement. So I'll just write down if, I'll just write down some condition, opening curly bracket and if this condition is true then I will just try to print number is positive. So if this condition is true then it will print number is positive, right? So in the else block can I say if number is not positive then number is negative? No, right? Because still we have to check one more condition inside the else block, right? Whether it's a negative or zero. So here we have a two more output. So we can add one more if else inside the else block, right? So let me just try to finish the else block and inside the else block we still have a two more output, right? So here also we have to apply the condition like if some condition and if this condition is true then we can say number is negative, okay? And in the else block we can say number is zero, right? Now we have to just focus on the two condition. We have to identify the two condition when the number is positive and when number is negative, right? So we know that if number is greater than zero then number is positive, okay? And here if number is less than zero then number is negative, right? And if number is not positive else number is not negative then definitely number is zero, right? So this is the first way to solve the program using nested if, right? Nested if means we are just writing the if else inside the if else, right? So let's try to check this program with the positive number. Let's say run this program and yes we are getting positive. Let's say minus 12. Let's try to check this program with the negative number and we are getting negative and let's try to check this program with the zero. So let's try to run it and we are getting the output zero. Excellent. So there is another way we can able to solve this program. So if you don't want to write the nested if then we can just use the ladder if else, right? So I will just remove the nested if and inside the else we have a two more output, right? So here if this condition is true then we have to print number is positive. Else we still have a one more condition to check, right? Whether it's a negative or zero, right? So we can use the ladder if else. That means we can just write down else if number is negative that means number is less than zero then we will just print that number is negative perfect now if this condition is also not true then we can just say else number is zero right so this is the example of ladder if else so how this program will work first of all it will just start at the line number seven number is zero line number eight we don't have any statement line number nine it will check number is greater than zero so if this condition is true it will just print positive and it will just exit the program right if it is not greater than zero it will check number is less than zero it will print the negative if it is not less than zero then else part it will just print number is zero right perfect 
Let's try to run this program with the number 0. Perfect, we are getting the output 0. So we have seen two methods to solve this program. One is the nested if else and one is the later if else. So I hope you are clear now how to break down the program and how to solve the program step by step. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments regarding this video, try to write down into the comment section. Thanks everyone and we'll see you into the next video.